In today's video, Jets, five key characteristics you need to be able to identify when buying a quality briefcase. The first thing to look at when buying a briefcase to make sure it's of high quality, look at the hardware. If they spend good money on the hardware, they actually buy oversized good solid pieces that are well polished or well put together, you can tell, okay, they probably didn't skimp in other areas when it comes to the leather, when it comes to the thread, when it comes to the overall design and the build of the briefcase. Notice this zipper right here. This is a Rakani zipper. It's coming out of Northern Italy. This family has been perfecting the zipper for over 30 years. Yes, focusing on quality. They look at every single tooth, make sure it's well polished, that it just flows, that it zips very easily. Compared with a cheap zipper, it is night and day. Next up, let's talk about leather quality. You're looking for a full grain with no blemishes. Now, when I say full grain, what I mean is the top layer of the leather, that's the grain, may be mixed with a little bit of the junction. And the junction, that's the combination of the grain where it meets actually the corium. What's the difference? It really comes down to durability and water resistance. At the top leather, that's what we're going to see. It's actually going to be least porous. It's going to be very flexible, very tough. As we get down into the corium of the leather, that's what we're going to see. It's going to absorb water a lot more readily and it's not going to be as durable. Throughout this video, you're going to see this briefcase right here. This is the Palisade briefcase found over at Carl Friedrich. I'm linking to him down in the description, guys. Carl Friedrich is the paid sponsor of today's video and for over two years, I've known about this company, I've been testing their product and I have to say, when it comes down to design, it comes down to quality, this is one of the best deals out there and it's just an amazing bag. Everything I'm talking about when looking for a quality briefcase, this bag epitomizes. How do they do that? Because guys, they sell directly to the consumer. They can offer you an amazing bag. And this bag, if it was a designer bag, could easily sell for over $2,000. I can tell you it's a fraction of that cost. Again, I'm linking to them down in the description. If you want to buy a piece that you could hand down to the next generation, this is the company. These are the bags and they've got a few other bags you want to check out. They've got wallets, they've got duffel bags, they've got laptop sleeves. But when it comes down to attention to detail, to quality, Carl Fried it can't be beat. Now, this next detail that you want to look at when it comes to a quality leather bag may seem small, but it's not, guys. Look at the stitching. You want to look for a single stitch and where it needs to be straight, it should be straight. Where it needs to curve and follow the lines of the leather, it needs to do that. Oh, come on, Antonio. Stitching can't be that important. Yes, it is. And let me explain. So, a bad stitch job, that's a sign that they probably didn't pay attention to the type of thread that they used. If they didn't pay attention here, the material choice of the thread is key in terms of the the longevity of the bag and how it's going to react with the leather. Is it going to enlarge the holes or is it going to have a little bit of stretch and it's not going to enlarge the holes over time? All this plays into how long your bag is going to last. Next up, let's look at the inside of the bag, the internal lining. If you can pull it out, this is a bad sign. It should stay in the bag. Next up, let's look at the alignment of the threading, the stitching, the placement of the pockets. Everything here should be aligned. We shouldn't have any issues. When you zip up and you close the bag, is it catching on anything, especially the inner lining? If it catches on the inner lining, this is the sign of poor quality. Next up, let's talk about briefcase design. Now, you may say this is a matter of personal taste, but for me, I like to think that a briefcase is a long-term investment, something that if I purchase it now, my grandson may find my briefcase and want to use it. So, I'm looking for something that is going to stay and be in style. For me, what stays in style is simplicity, classic design that's both functional and stylish. It's the small details that you want to pay attention to and you want to make sure when I'm looking at a briefcase, I'm looking at is it something that is elegant both in design and the actual layout and the cutting of the leather. So, when you're identifying great design, look at how they mix functionality with the style. So, notice this strap right here. It goes all the way around the bottom of the bag and what it does is the weight of the bag is being carried and distributed all over this strap. Notice the small details here on the handle. This leather right over here goes back around and then in on itself, probably extends all the way over here where you have the same thing on this side as well. So, they're probably stitched on top of each other and that is actually where the strength of this handle is coming from is that it's reinforced at multiple points, just a great well-made functional piece. Look at the bottom of the bag. You notice these four little metal legs right here? This right here is to protect the leather. A small detail that a lot of manufacturers are going to skip on, but when you see this, it's a sign of quality. 
Now, a bonus thing to look at is the printing, actually the company's logo, maybe your initials engraved in there. Now, if it's going to be printing on top of the leather, the issue here is that it can and eventually will get scraped off. But if they actually press it into the leather, maybe go over it with a little bit of a gold leaf or just maybe leave it just a straight pressing, that right there is going to be a better sign of quality and to me, much more permanent. All right, gentlemen, now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments. What did I miss? What would you have added to this video to make it better? I know some of you guys have probably designed bags. Some of you guys have bought quite a few bags. Maybe you've got some tips and tricks you would add to this video. Let me know down in the comments and go check out Carl Friedrich, guys. I'm linking to him down in the description. Just a beautiful bag. This Pachetta leather, Ah, I mean, it looks and it feels beautiful. I can tell you this bag, I was so excited to get if you can't tell. And uh, yeah, just everything about it, very high quality. So if you're looking for a great deal down in the description of this video with link, just go check them out. Good company. That's it, guys. Take care. I will see you in the next video.